Hello everyone, my name is Anna Christi Suwardi. Most of my students call me Achan Anna. So I'm with School of Liberal Arts, Mefaluang University. That's such interesting questions. But before I touch a little bit about what we know about this cultural peace building, I would like to just give a little bit rationale about why this uh, like you know, need to be discussed because uh, as we know that we're naturally living in diversity. So therefore, like our diverse identity, like you know, we we need to manage this and know and have skill how to like manage in terms of uh, our differences between one to another. So then our differences will not lead to trigger any kind of dispute. So speaking of uh, cultural peace building uh, within the spectrum of peace studies. This is quite a newly term that this approach I quote here, it allows people with different cultural identities not just to identify but also develop and strengthen their social cultural relationships. All right, so as I mentioned earlier, because like it is our nature that humans are diverse. We have our differences, we have like, you know, our diversity of identities, right? So let's say in a setting of communities with noticeable cultural differences, uh, the degrees normally and commonly it's happening with like, you know, about misunderstanding, about misattribution, it tend to be at higher risk. Like for example, here in Southeast Asia, even like, you know, we are having this regionalism, but still we don't have our common language yet even. So therefore, like this kind of fragility, it could let or to kind of potentially trigger the dispute between these differences. Therefore, um, this uh, cultural peace building believe that culture is what embedded in people's identity, right? So it's it whether this culture can be like our source of building peace or even it is actually sometime will be the factor of conflict. Therefore, it's uh, really significant and also important for us, especially like us in this um, academic context that we learn about this so we can teach our young generations to have this such awareness. So I would like to give or brought up a bit of example from my latest um, academic work, my latest piece that I've been uh, presenting in Hiroshima University. So even here from our country, it, the Kingdom of Thailand, uh, I studied lately and uh, highlight the importance of intercultural, intercommunities uh, engagement. This uh, case was uh, studied from the southern of Thailand. Well, the fact that in the south, uh, unlike the majority of Thai society with Thai and Buddhist um, identities, they, we have there in the south where are the community of Malay Muslim identity. And interestingly, this group of uh, women led by women's group, they initiate intercultural um, engagement initiative. So uh, uh, be like, you know, they, they, don't, they don't really like um, uh, focusing on how like the problem is going on, but rather they um, kind of promoting intercultural and a mutual understanding between the two communities. So they uh, promote uh, peace uh, in the southern of Thailand effectively.